Hi everyone. Today in this video, we will see about the first law of thermodynamics and it defines the law of conservation of energy. Before let's dig into the video lecture, I will give you just an outline of this video lecture. So here we will discuss about the law of conservation of energy and the first law of thermodynamics. Now let's dig into the video. So first let's see about the law of conservation of energy. And it states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another form. So energy is always conserved. That value can never be created nor be destroyed. And in this universe, we have many different forms of energy. Uh, I will list some few of them. One is mechanical energy. Another great example, electrical energy. Then heat energy, chemical energy, etc. The law of conservation energy states what just energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another form. So let's see how. So the first example is electrical energy being converted to mechanical energy. The great example for you is the electric fan. Then the same the converse happens mechanical energy to electrical energy. Here the great example is your power generator. Next, heat energy converted to mechanical energy. The great example is your steam engine. Then we can see electrical energy being converted to heat energy. Here the iron box is your great example. As soon as you switch on the power, you could see that the bottom surface of the iron box getting heated. So here, electrical energy is converted to heat energy. Next, we can see chemical energy converted to electrical energy. The great example is your battery. So inside the battery, the charges are being stored in chemical form. So when this battery is connected to an electric circuit. The chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. Now let's see what is internal energy. In thermodynamics, we can tell the change in total energy is the contribution of main three quantities. They are kinetic energy, potential energy and internal energy and you all know what is kinetic energy it happens due to motion of the particles then potential energy it is due to the change in position of an object here doesn't mean the change in position doesn't indicate that it is in motion just the difference of energy between the two positions then all other remaining forms of energy is comes under the category of internal energy or in short we can tell internal energy arises due to motion and the configurations of atoms molecules or the subatomic particles inside the matter and the letter u is used to denote internal energy so change in total energy is always equal to change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy plus change in internal energy. Now let's dig into the main topic of this video lecture. That is the first law of thermodynamics. So the first law of thermodynamics states that the change in internal energy of a system is always equal to the heat transfer to a system 
minus the work done by the system. So as you see in the diagram, here you have a cylinder, piston cylinder assembly and the system consists of a gas. It has initial internal energy U1. Now I apply a heat energy Q to this gas system. So the gas absorbs the heat energy. So definitely there will be change in internal energy of the gas after the heat is absorbed by the gas. Now we can see the final state. Due to the absorbed heat, we can tell the internal energy of the gas has been changed to U2. Also, the gas has done work on the system. So we can tell totally we are taking this as this piston cylinder assembly as a system. So here the work is being done by the system. So the work is denoted by a negative sign. So what happens here is the gas absorbs some heat and the work is done by the system. So in mathematical equation we can tell the change in internal energy that is u2 minus u1 is equal to q minus w the heat energy absorbed by system plus the work done by the system so q minus w here it is minus w because the work is done by the system no external agency has done work on the system the work has been done by the system by absorbing the heat energy in differential form it is given as du equal to delta q minus delta w so this is the first law of thermodynamics so the change in internal energy is always the heat energy minus the work done by the system thank you